Christmas 2021 has now come and gone, and we are at the brink of a new year. We have no clue what the year has in store for us, but God knows. Our aim should be as Christian is to continue to build our spiritual legacy and the sure foundation set by Christ. Welcome to the heart of the matter with Pastor Dixon, a ministry of Central Truth and Hearts Inc. The Heart of the Matter is a devotional designed to deal with central truths from the Word of God that would help build and encourage believers in their spiritual journey. In today's devotion, I will begin a three-part devotion on building a spiritual house. In this segment, I will be looking at the matter of building with the best. The text is taken from 1 Chronicles chapter 29, 1 to 3. And I will glean truths from the closing moments of David's life as he made preparation for his son Solomon to take the throne and complete the task he envisioned. Before we go any further, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and tell a friend about our YouTube channel. Now let us listen as I speak to the heart of the matter. Then King David said to the whole assembly, My son Solomon, the one whom God has chosen, is young and inexperienced. The task is great because this palatial structure is not for men, but for the Lord God. With all my resources, I have provided for the temple of my God, gold for the gold work, silver for the silver, bronze for the bronze, iron for the iron, wood for the wood, as well as annex for the settings, turquoise stones of various colors, and all kind of fine stones and marble, all of these in large quantity. Besides, in my devotion, the temple of my God, I now give my personal treasures of gold, and silver for the temple of my God over and above everything I have provided for his holy temple. Isn't that great? Now here it is. Israel was about to embark on the new era. David was about to die. His 40 years reign is about end. As a result of this, his son Solomon was about to take the throne. David had a vision to build a house for the Lord. But God rejected David from building his house. But he did not reject the vision. Instead, he told David, his son Solomon will build his house. As a result of that, David spent most of his reign making preparation for the building of the temple of the Lord. Even though David knew that he would not live to experience the temple's completion, he leaned upon the promises of God and he knew that God 
is going to see it through using his son Solomon so as a result David made sure everything everything were in place for the building of God's house now I want us to see some things here some descriptive words that emerge out of the text we see words such as Alesha. We see gold. We see silver. We also see um annex stone. We see turquoise stone. We see stones of all sorts. We see iron. We see bronze. We see wood. All these are descriptive words. These are the things that David gave to the building of the house of God. This speaks to the quality of David's service. Not only that, the Bible said, but David gave of his personal treasure above and beyond all that we have already give, given and this speaks of two things one the quantity of his dedication he gave of his personal treasures above and beyond that he already given given but also it speak of his deep devotion his personal treasures above and beyond in other words David there was nothing too much to give to God it speaks of how much David revered God now in application I want us to look at some points here. One, what you give to God will determine how much you reverence and revere Him. It speaks to your view of God. The esteem that you hold Him in. Quality and the quantity of your service determines how you revere and reverence God. Next, I want us also to see that as leaders and also as laymen, how we give to God whether it's time, treasure whatever it is the quality and the quantity of our giving will also teach and reflect other Christians or motivate other Christians or uh, discourage other Christians from serving God. So, as David led, he didn't ask the people to give. He did it himself. And when we look further down in the verses, I think from verse 6 to verse 9, the Bible said, and the people because of David quality quantity and devotion to God they themselves also follow suit that just I mean permeated that attitude that David displayed as the leader permeated throughout Israel 
and the people dedicated themselves likewise. But also, I want us to see something else. In verse 1, David said, The task is great because the task is not of man, it is of God. Anything that is to be done for God should be something great. And David said it's going to take a lot of faith to see it through. In other words, as we go into 2022, do something greater than yourself. Do something out of the ordinary. Do something extraordinary. Do something beyond your human strength. Do something that requires deep faith that only God can do. In other words, stretch yourself. But only stretch yourself, but also go deep. Go beyond your effort. Put trust in God. Don't do anything that is ordinary. Do something that is extraordinary. Because anything is ordinary is not of faith. Do something that, hey, you can trust God. Something that my strength cannot do. Whether it's in your church, whether it's something that you want to personally embark upon, that is going to touch others, or something in your community, this is going to bring glory and honor to your God. Something great. And this is going to deepen you. It's going to strengthen your resolve. It's going to grow you. When you do something beyond yourself, you want to have a Christian experience. You want to have an experience in knowing God in a I mean, a level that you will never understand him. Do something great, something grand, something beyond yourself that you cannot do. You're going to see how it grow you. It's going to strengthen you. But not only that. Go deep. Think big launch deep so in 2022 I want us to remember this one the quality and the quantity of our service will reflect on how we give to God whether our time our schedule of ourselves. The Bible said they will give all and above and beyond. But not only that, remember this. Give God the best. Not the worst, not the leftover. Oh, I have something else here, so let, let me give God. Give God the best. But also, think big. Apply a lot of faith. Launch out the 2020. Have Happy New Year and may the Lord blessings be with you. Amen. Now that we have examined the matter of selfless dedication to God, I hope that we evaluate our service and devotions as it will 
reveal our respect and reverence to and for God. So in 2022, let us remember to dream big, apply faith, launch out into the deep. I am Pastor Dixon. Happy New Year and join us next time as we seek to deal with the heart of the matter.